Hi, Church. My name's Joel, um, and I attend our central campus here in Manchester. In today's devotion, I've got a bite-sized encouragement for you to ask God for big things. Of course, big can mean different things to different people at different stages of their faith journey, but I'd like to share a time when I ask God to heal me. Um, and as someone who's long been taught to stand on God's promises, but has often been reluctant to ask for fear of disappointment, that was no easy feat. Um, about five years ago, I'd been suffering for many months with back and pelvic pain, which meant that practically I struggled to stand for extended periods. But in truth, the pain was, was pretty constant and it ran deeper than just bones uh, or joints. It felt quite uh, dark and nefarious and, and I was increasingly fearful that it might be something quite serious. Um, and of course, as a man, um, I didn't immediately tell anyone or do much about it. Uh, there came a Sunday when Pastor Stuart Keir was, was preaching and following his message, invited us as a church um, to believe God for healing. And he specifically called out that someone with my specific symptoms, so back and pelvis pain, needed to ask God to touch them. Um, and God made it easy in that moment for me to lean into him. And with my faith elevated in that moment, I asked him to remove both the symptom and whatever was causing the pain. Um, and over the course of several minutes, that pain was replaced by a warmth um, and that pain's never returned. Um, I've since had health checks, which confirm no, confer uh, no concerns and whatever it, it was, it, it's gone. Um, so I wanna encourage you, don't be afraid to ask God, don't miss your moment um, and take time to document what God's doing in your life. In Joshua 4 verse one, it talks about God commanding the Israelites to cross the Jordan River, which he had miraculously stopped flowing. Um, and uh, telling them to remove stones from the riverbed and pile them up at a place called Gilgal um, so that they and their descendants might remember God's love and miraculous assistance. Stay well.